Welcome to Tea in a Good Book, featuring only me today. Yay, no mother. I can do what I want. Even though she'll probably edit it out anyway. So, today I am reviewing Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix, AKA my third favorite book in the Harry Potter series. My second favorite book is Chamber of Secrets. And my top favorite book in the whole series is Half-Blood Prince. Here's the movie. This is the one with Umbridge. I don't like Umbridge. She's way too pink. And nobody needs to have moving cats on their plates. That's just not right. I'm sorry. And if you have read the rest of the Harry Potter books, you know about the curse, well, not the curse, but the fact that every single data or Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher mysteriously goes missing, dies, or is inhabited by certain unspeakable names. Yeah. Which means that my teacher sent me a note and I use it to keep it as a bookmark. Which means that this year's teacher is Dolores Umbridge from the Ministry of Magic. She is a very mean person. And this may be considered a spoiler, but she literally has Harry put on a sheet of paper in 100 times with a quill, I will not tell lies. And you know what that quill's ink is made out of? the blood of the owner of the quill. Actually, the user of the quill. So yeah, here he's using his own blood to write, I will not tell lies, a hundred times. Until it is emblazoned right about here. So, Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix, Order of the Phoenix, is about the secret organization that is the Order of the Phoenix. Um, and a lot of people from the last book are here. You've got your owls in this one because again this is the fifth year. Fifth year is owls. Owls are, well I'm trying to find it right there, ordinary wizarding level tests. It's like those end of the year tests that we get every year except it's only in your fifth year. And then newts is the next year. This is definitely one of my favorite books. It's one of the greatest. It is the fifth book. It showcases a lot of the different characters in good lights, bad lights, and then there's Voldemort. So um, <laughs> there's not really much that I can say that I like about this book without giving away serious spoilers. Make sure to make time for tea in a good book because otherwise I'm just gonna tell you everything that happens in the book and that's not what you came here for.